What's up, beautiful? What you doing? Uh, getting the boys ready for school for the week. Yeah, getting ready for good old school. Making sure all their clothes are nice and clean and ironed. And you ready to go to high school? Yep. Are you grateful for her getting your clothes ready? Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, look. He doesn't fit this no more. I know. Like all of this stuff. I know you need to stop growing, man. <laughs> let's, just, hey, let's show him your new bed, man. So his room is kind of uh, boring, uh, decoration-wise, and it's because we're in the middle of remodeling a bunch of stuff in the house, like we've told you all before, and we don't want to get too personal with it because we're going to be selling the house, hopefully. Anyway, Mason here, his room's a little bit small, so we decided to give him a loft bed. And we're still kind of trying to figure out where things are going to go, but we've got... He's got a little storage and stuff like that underneath there, but he likes it. Right, buddy? Yes, Talking sir. about your bed. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. I think that is the shirt that I want. Oh, that maybe one. it is. Look, this was... Last year's homecoming. Last year's homecoming. It's my man. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I totally thought he wore the shirt that he had, that nice button up at yeah. Kalahari, but I was wrong. Yep. So does he have one or are we going to need to go buy one? I'm going to go buy both of them one. Okay. Devin doesn't want to wear the same shirt two homecomings oh. in a row. so, And he wants to match his date. Well, I don't care what I'm wearing. Well, that shirt doesn't fit you. So if you want to wear that other shirt, you Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. Hey, we got to be sharp-dressed men, all right? Yes, sir. <laughs> you have some fun with it. Yeah, that's, that's the bed. You ready to go outside and get some work done? Yes, sir. All right, right on. Are y'all ready to get some work done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's Mason over there. Devin here. I'm Steve. Beautiful's inside working on some other things. And we got a few small things we're going to take care of. And my man Devin here is going to figure out what's wrong with Max's water trough. I know what's wrong, but I don't see if he can figure out what's wrong. I think he will. He's pretty yeah. smart. He's a pretty smart guy. So I'm trying to help him learn how to troubleshoot things, you know. Uh, that's, guy, that's guy stuff, you know. We can't always Google and look up everything, so we sometimes we just got to figure it out. So yeah. I think he's going to do a good job. We're going to put him to the test. <laughs> but while we're here, y'all see what's in the background? Yeah, we have a toilet on our front porch. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you, how you guys know that we're open and honest with you guys about everything that's going on. So we're remodeling our master bathroom, and I, if Mama will let me, I'm going to show that to you guys a little bit too. But you know, I didn't want the toilet in the house. I'm like, where are we going to put it? So I just, we kind of drug it out here on a towel, if you see right there. And uh, it's already gotten dirty just from sitting outside. And so, yeah, we've got a toilet on our front seat, or <laughs> on our front porch. Yep. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to come check out Max's water situation. What exactly is wrong with it? So, I want to show you, bud. So check it out. Oh man, you got all kind of look at all the algae in there. I'm sure he doesn't care. It's nice and cool though. So basically, we got this little container here from TSC and a water. Hey buddy, Max. Hey bud. Like he's like, <laughs> he thought I was gonna hit him with the camera. I'm not gonna hit you with this, man. So that's the the float, right? Mm -hmm. That's just your basic trough float from TSC. And see how it's kind of weird. It's got a long pipe on it. Yeah. Well, that's there because we had this going through a fence in the back a while back and we ended up just moving it over here. So that doesn't have to be that way, but it doesn't really matter. But that float's not working. You see the water is all the way up to the to the edge here? Yes, sir. So what I what I found out is I came out here and this whole area was under underwater. That's not good. Because it was just overflowing. So there's a there's a float in there. You remember how this works? Have you ever seen one of these up close? Yes, sir. So it's not working. So we're gonna see if my man here can figure out why it's not working. Mm -hmm. It's basically it's not cutting off the water supply like it's supposed to. So the water just continue to pour out and pour out and pour out. And it's important obviously because Max needs good water. Yeah. So let's we'll see what we can do. So mm -hmm. just looking at it right here, what do you what do you think we need to do first, bud? Uh, take my, this off. Get my shadow out of the way. All right. Yeah, it's a good idea. So how do you think what do you think we need? Max. Get back, bud. Pliers or a wrench or something. Yeah, because these are 
you can usually turn those by hand, but they're a little bit rusty, right? So what would you use to get those off? We may have to get Mr. Max out of here. Probably just some pliers. Max! That would probably work. Yeah, you think some pliers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's let's get some pliers and see if we can back those off enough because we just need to open it up so it can pull out, right? Yeah. And then we can look at it. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, so what type of tool did you pick for the job? Adjustable pliers. Adjustable pliers, I think that's a good choice. I think they'll work just fine. Pretty much any kind of pliers would have worked on this. We just need a little bit of leverage to loosen that bad boy up. You remember what kind of valve this is? Remember what it's called? Float valve. Float valve, that's right, good job. The, the tube valve. Yeah, they got all dirty and, and grungy, but these things are pretty tough. They, uh, they last for a long time if you take care of them. All right, let me ask you this, pop tight. quiz, pop quiz, what? to Mason. Oh. You, no, you keep doing what you're doing, buddy. You're doing a good job. What? All right, pop quiz. Why is that full of algae? What do you think? Because it's dirty. Nope. And when old well, works. algae's not really dirty. Oh. It's actually perfectly harmless. It's not going to actually uh, hurt him to drink with algae in the water. Oh. And isn't when water sits there for a while, like, algae starts growing? What? What is algae? Um, green plants? Yeah, I mean, it's a type of plant, right? It grows yeah, in the yeah. water. What do plants need to grow? Water. What? And sunlight. Yeah, well, no, that's true, right? Some plants would actually drown if they were in the water all the time, right? True. But algae, algae obviously won't, but... It's made for the water, pretty yep. much. But if we didn't want algae in the water, what do you think we could do to keep that from happening? Um... What are the things that algae needs to live? Water and sunlight. Water and sunlight. So we could put it in the shade? So put it in the shade is, is one choice. That's an excellent choice. So typically, remember, if you remember in the chicken coop, we try to do the same thing, right? We try to put the water underneath the tarp portion so that it's not in the sun all the time. That's right. why. Because algae will grow inside of it. It makes it harder yeah. to clean, right? So we could try putting it in the shade. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of places here in this part of the yard. Especially for if shade. the hose will reach. Yeah, right? I know. They make some algae treatment stuff too that we could put in there. Some people, it sounds bad if you're not familiar with it, but it's actually perfectly safe to put a small capful of bleach in a trough like this, and that will actually keep algae out of that water for quite a while. Now, I don't know about the measurements. I'm not recommending it at all. You guys can look into it, but it, has, it is actually pretty common. A lot of folks... And they're, especially in the larger troughs, like a horse trough or something like that, you can put like a half a cup uh, of bleach in, a, in a, you know, a few hundred gallons. And it's perfectly safe for the animals because it's going to get diluted in there. And that will keep your algae from growing and, and do a really good job of help, helping keep it clean. So I don't know what we're going to do just yet for Max's water here. The algae's not at the end of the world. It's not going to hurt him. I don't like it. It looks gross. But the water's still clear and clean, you can tell but it's definitely had a negative impact on the float valve. So oh. we got to figure that out. Look. Just toss that in. Frog Max. came out of nowhere. I'm pick I'm picking. Frog. Why are you moving? Say hi, Max. Oh, not slobber on me or the camera. Max, sit, sit, buddy. Sit. No, calm down, bud. Calm down, good boy. We, hey, we gotta get your new collar on you. Well, the first thing we need to do is clean this because good it boy. could be that the algae is keeping this from pushing right, far so enough. let's check out this nasty thing. Bring it over here in the What's lights. What's ice? See. Bring it over here. That's not ice, that's slobber. No, that's not slobber, bud. That's, uh, no. it's like calcium, like mineral buildup from our wet well water. Um, let's look at the underneath. So yes. how does this thing work? It's a basic float valve, right? Yeah, when this, pushes far enough then the water will stop. Yeah, so this is full of air, right? Mm -hmm. And when the water level gets high, this does what? Uh, pushes it and... Pushes what? Because we gotta, we gotta know what we're doing here, right? Because we need to figure out what needs to be fixed or replaced. It pushes like a little lever that cuts off the water. Yeah, so since, since you've never seen one of these, I'll tell you, there's basically like a little rubber stopper on the other side of this. 
and there's a there's a little hole that comes out from your your supply line right mm -hmm. and into this and when this gets high enough that little rubber stopper just covers the hole and keeps water from coming out yeah so it's pretty simple so given that information that it's not closing now what do you think the problem is there's too much dirt in it there's or the rubber stopper needs to be replaced exactly so that's what we're gonna do so what's our next step clean it no we're missing we're missing one take this out yeah we need to take it apart Good job, buddy. Cow. Well, figure it out. Well, there's something right here, like little pins. So we'll need something to put in there to pull that. Yep. Pin out. There's a pin. There's a pin right here. That's what holds that float valve in. It's hard to see because of all the dirt and yep, stuff. Yep. It is. You're right. Yeah. If it was cleaner, it'd be a little bit more obvious. I, I'll give you that, buddy. Yeah. So we need to take that that out um, to make it easier on us. Why don't we? disconnect it completely yeah and take it to the shop what was that a frog oh a little tiny frog i found like one of those um, leopard frogs but like a tiny one. Oh yeah oh yeah look at that let me see open your hand up bud That's so we can see one. that looks like a bullfrog it just looks like a baby one yeah in the shade let me let me try out this shade situation move max move move thank you bud all right, we're under the crepe myrtle now. Yep. Yeah, you get out of the sun, it's not that bad. It just doesn't have a breeze. Yeah. Devin, is it hot over there? Yes. Yeah, it's, it feels fine over here. Yeah, it feels great. Good for you. It's weird. Just kidding. All right. You having problems? This is twisting, so I can't get a good grip on it. You're also turning it the wrong way. No. Yeah. No, that's to the right. That's, I was just. Oh, it looked like you were pulling direction. it the other way. Well, good job. Yeah. There you go. Look at this bull frog. I think this is a bullfrog. Yeah, that's a bullfrog. Just found a bullfrog, guys. Here, let me wipe him off. Now y'all can see him better. Oh my goodness, he's hopping around like crazy. All right, so me and my man Devin are here in the shop. So tell, tell him what you did. I pulled the pin on this, which pulled this out. Yeah, pulled the pin off, which basically acts as a, as a hinge for the float. And what do you think the problem is? Uh, there's a little hole here where it's worn almost all the way through. Yeah, on the little rubber flap here, you can see where it was pushing up against that water inlet, which is right there. Sorry guys, it's kind of shadowy in here. Um, but it looks like the rubber gasket just got a little bit worn. But the great thing about these little gaskets here is you can literally just turn it and it, there's, there's plenty of good space on here. So yeah. it looks like it's actually already been turned before. I don't remember, but we've had this float valve for a long time. And if you have them on hand, you can just buy another one of these. TSC sells them. Yeah, they're probably not very expensive no, at all. Not. And you could probably easily make one yourself with something else. You see there's a little plastic piece in the middle here that just, just pops right out and yeah. cut a little piece of rubber or something, shove it right back in. But anyway, so what's our next steps? Clean this. Yeah, we need to clean and it turn at least this a little bit, right? Put it back in. And then turn that, put it back in, and then we'll test it and see if it's getting good contact. Yep. All right. Good job, bud. You having fun, buddy? Yes, sir. You're not having fun cleaning that thing. What? You're not having fun cleaning that, but you're doing a good job. I feel good. Yeah, feels <laughs> good out here. Max, you're getting your water clean, man. All right, so what are we doing, man? Devin cleaned this. He got all the big gunk and build up off of it and it was mostly calcium and algae that was underneath there so we got that all cleaned up tell them what you're doing buddy i'm putting the pin back in that acts as a hinge for this yep good job now did you pay attention to where that rubber flap was when you put it back in no. oops oops okay. pull it back out bud because we want to turn that so that the part that's touching the water is the one that's the smoothest. It was close. Yeah. <laughs> See, one step. 
it matters. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason this doesn't work, all we've got to do is go to TSC and get our little replacement flap. Yeah. For all the hard parts done, we've already got it all cleaned up. How's it looking out there, bud? No! Oh, it's much better than it was. I see the sunlight's coming back. <laughs> Yeah, you almost got it. You want a different brush that's a little bit softer, buddy? Yeah. For those curves? I like this one. This is the one we use for the boat. Yeah. It fits all those curved oh, angles. Good. Get you a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody didn't clean my brush. I wonder who the last person to use that was. Probably not me for the boat. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see if that one does any better. I think it will. It's easier to get the uh, corners. Turn it around, buddy, so the handle's facing up. There you go. You got that. Good job, bud. He's smart enough to get in the shade, you notice? <laughs> yeah. All right, how'd it go? Yeah. All right, it's not bad. It's not bad. Good job, buddy. Looks pretty clean. All right, so Devin has fixed this float. And I'm... Why do you think we put that board back there, buddy? As uh, like a spacer. Yeah, it was just a little spacer. It just wouldn't sit on straight. So I just put a little piece of scrap board. All right, so we've got it all hooked back up right yep. here. We're going to turn it on and we're going to see if the water level stops where it's supposed to. Sounds like a dog panting. Yeah. Come on, water. <laughs> It already looks like it's closing. That's it. Yep, we fix it. You fix it. Good job, bud. Thanks. Hasten help too. You he helped with cleaning. Yep. <laughs> Good job. So my man Devin here has never never taken one of these things apart, and I helped him just a little bit. I'll be honest, but very little, and he did pretty much all of it by himself. He figured it out, and he fixed the problem. Good job, bud. Thanks. <laughs>